Hey everybody, Joe Grand here to give you a quick demonstration of assembling the new JTAGulator acrylic case. This case is a pretty simple design just using two pieces of eighth inch acrylic and uh, some screws and some threaded standoffs. So it's nice to kind of protect the unit if you're traveling or if it's on your workbench and stuff might sit on top of it. And it looks pretty cool too. All the design files for this case are available on my website if you go to jtagulator.com or grandideastudio.com and search for jtagulator. Everything you need is up there. So the top and bottom 2D files in PDF, SVG, and DXF. That's a lot of acronyms. Also a simple bill of materials. I don't currently have any plans to sell these. So you can go to your local hackerspace, uh, maybe use a service like Seed Studio. You might also be able to take those 2D files and extrude them into a 3D case if you wanted to do that. To design the case pieces, I used QCAD, which is an open source 2D CAD package. Uh, here you can see the top part of the case, and here's the bottom part of the case. To help me get the dimensions exactly right, I exported from Altium Designer, which is the circuit board design tool that I use, the board outline and also the silk screen for the various parts. That way I could combine them together and now I have an actual outline. I know exactly where the terminal headers are, where the mounting holes are, where the reset button is, where the LED is, and then I have this cutout here for the actual screw terminal blocks. Once the drawings were all set, I had to save the DXF files, import them into Inkscape, another open source package, to save those as SVG files. All right, so here's the setup of required parts. Of course, we have our JTAGulator, we have our two laser cut acrylic pieces, and then we have our mechanical bits and pieces. The specifications and part numbers for the ones that I'm using in this build are in the bill of materials. Of course, you can choose whatever combination of mechanical pieces that you want, maybe just with some parts you have in your junk bin. The JTAGulator itself, the mounting holes are eighth inch diameter, so you can fit a whole bunch of different types of screws. The first thing we need to do is remove any of the protective coating from the acrylic. Next, we're going to assemble the screws and standoffs to the bottom piece. So we take our 7 16th inch screws and hold that in place and then use our 3 16th hex spacer and just thread those on. You're going to want to screw these on pretty tight, just be careful to not crack the acrylic. So once we have this, this now becomes our base for the actual JTAGulator. So this sits right down on top. The screws are long enough that we can now put another standoff on top. All right, so the quarter inch long hex standoffs are now screwed in, which now is going to serve as the holder for the top plate that just sits right on top. And then we take our quarter inch screws and screw those down. Here is the finished product. Straightforward, simple, and now you're protected. JTAGulator acrylic case assembly, successful.